Hello friends, today we will discuss about one very special joint and that joint is present on the base of the skull. Now when you will see this base of the skull which is known as Norma Basalis, in this Norma Basalis you will find a joint and that joint is known as the joint between the base occiput and body of sphenoid. So the name of joint is known as sphino occipital joint. Now where you will find this sphino occipital joint in this norma basalis. So now see this is known as foramen magnum. Now when you will go anterior to the foramen magnum, you will have this basilar part of occipital bone, and this part is known as base occiput. Now this base occiput when will reach to the anteriorly now you will have a joint with the posterior part of the body of sphenoid. So I am marking this joint here with the pencil and here you can see that this line is representing the joint between the body of sphenoid and the anterior part of the base occiput. Now this joint is very important joint because it is a primary cartilaginous joint. So this is the first question for your exam. Now this primary cartilaginous joint is having the hyaline cartilage. So you know that whenever we are having the hyaline cartilage, these are uh, the uh, temporary joints and with the time they ossify. So this joint ossify after around the age of 20 to 25 years. And that's why this joint is a primary cartilaginous and it is known as synchondrosis, clear? So it is a very commonly asked question in your exam that what is sphenoid and occiput joint. So this joint between the base occiput and the sphenoid is an example of synchondrosis and that's why this joint is known as base occiput synchondrosis. So the name is also important for this question, uh, joint. Now what is the importance of this joint? Now see you have to understand that when you will talk about the horizontal growth of this part of the base of the skull, this depends upon the cartilaginous joint which is here. Now when you will have the normal closing of your mouth, now when you will have the closing of your mouth, what you will have that your maxillary teeth is always anteriorly placed than the mandibular teeth. Now this will give the normal appearance of your face. Now when the growth of this horizontal plate or I should say the horizontal growth of the base of skull will not occur if this joint will ossify early before 20 years. What will happen that this normal appearance of the face will lost. Now what will happen that the mandible will come anteriorly and you will have this kind of appearance. Now why mandible comes anteriorly? Because mandible is growing at its normal pace while the horizontal growth of this base of skull has been hampered because of early ossification here. So the early ossification of this joint if occur it will lead to the facial dysmorphism in which the mandibular teeth proceeds very high or anteriorly than the maxillary teeth. And in the normal position when you will have the normal closing of the mouth you will have a little bit maxillary teeth lies anterior to the mandibular teeth, clear? So you have to understand the importance of this joint which is a primary cartilaginous joint present in the base of the skull which is an example of synchondrosis that it is responsible for the horizontal growth of this base if this joint ossify early the failure of the horizontal growth occurs and your mandibular teeth proceeds anteriorly which is a abnormal condition. So this is the importance of this joint. So whenever you will have the question on the primary cartilage in this joint, you have to write down this example and you should always keep in mind that it is a, a cartilaginous joint which is temporary in nature. That's why it is known as synchondrosis. So this is all for this class. Thank you.